And we started in 1818. Because each buffet, one time, used to be called Hodgson's Mills. They had a sawmill and a grist mill. Well, one of the oldest, I think, has been in the same family, still building wooden boats on the, anywhere on the New England coast. My wife is a little bit on the mad side. I've got about 125 of these uh, models now, and they're all up over the wall, as you can see, and I don't have any place to these. And she's said not in the bedroom, in the bathroom, I don't dare to put them, because the boys still wouldn't bother them. So right at the moment, they're scattered on the dining room table. But I've had orders to move. It's, it's a lot of fun. Most of the ones we built here in East Booth Bay, my, I built them, my father built them, my grandfather built them. Two boats over here, I think, are quite interesting. They were designed by uh, Walter McGuinness. Uh, this was the Black Duck. Uh, she was one of the very famous rum runners. Then he turned around and had the job for the Coast Guard and built this rum chaser. Well, the rum chaser caught the rum runner, and they confiscated that boat and used her as a uh, rum chaser. This is the... Voyager, this uh, hand uh, double-end motor sailor. Uh, she was uh, the first boat that I went to work on, 1937. And I started at the, it, I guess you'd call it the minimum wage. I was paid $7 a week for a 48-hour week. Of course, we didn't have overtime then. I kind of think about it. I wonder how my Uncle Charles would, would feel uh, or Stalin Burgess, or L. Francis Harrishoff, or George Owen, the Stevenses that I've known as the designers, what they would say if they could see this little squirt that was running around in the shop doing what he's doing now.